working on the bridge here. Oh, the little dog. Okay, how many hours we got left? Uh, <gasps> oh my. Well, that might be a lot of time for someone to have to wait for every damn blade, but that's okay. That's totally fine. We're halfway done with this one. It looks beautiful. I can't wait to get the rest on and get the lights on, get the body on and put it all together. I know you probably heard me say this before, but I'm just excited. I can't help it. Oh, crap. I have a lot to do. Once I get this thing put together, I've got so much wiring I'm gonna have to do. It's not even gonna be funny. We got lights in the body. We've got lights inside the ductwork. 288 strands or LEDs per engine. And then 288 for the body. Four, possibly five Arduinos running it only because they only supply enough voltage to run to. And I don't want to run a complex power system where I'm powering all the lights at the same time and draining the crap out of with a polymer battery. <laughs> English, everyone, I can speak it. But so I decided to go with these packs. They're these, uh, you know, those ones you use for your phone and, and it'll last hours, way longer than this is gonna fly. <laughs> so that, that's gonna be perfect for this. So we're gonna plug all those in, but they're gonna be triggered from the, um, not the Arduino, they're gonna be triggered through Arduino to a UART on the um, Speedy B F405 wing so I can use all my switches to change my lighting modes. That'll be cool. I just hope I remember which one is ARM and which one is return to home and then which one is panic. So um, that's a great radio, by the way. I can do so much with it, especially with those, those vertical knobs right here. It's like an extra throttle if I want to put something else on here or open up a bay door. <laughs> anyway, back to work.